Hello, this is Klaus Jensen presenting yet another brilliant Kasparov performance. I have chosen the game Kasparov Garikov from the 1981 Soviet Championship final. Kasparov was uh, 18 years of age uh, when the game was played and he shows excellent attacking skills after a few inaccuracies from his opponent. So Kasparov is white and G Gavrikov is black and the game starts d4, d5, c4, e6, queen's gambit, knight f3 and c5 the terrace defense. c takes, e takes, g3, knight c6, bishop g2, knight f6, castles, bishop e7, d takes c5, bishop takes c5, bishop g5, castles, knight c3, d4, bishop f takes f6, queen takes f6, knight d5, queen d8, knight, knight d2, a6, rook c1, bishop a7, and knight c4. And knight c4 was actually a new move at the time, and um, otherwise this had been played uh, a lot of times. And with this, this position, um, Gabrikov uh, actually played rook b8. And um, I think a much better plan would have been to play bishop f5 and then for example knight f4, uh, a square that the knight often goes to, and then uh, rook c8 because then he can uh, defend the c6 uh, knight. And it turns out that the, the pressure is on c6 in, the, in this game, it's, it's not so much on b7. So therefore um, it was probably a wrong plan for, for Garika to play uh, rook b8 and then came knight f4 and here we can already see that this pressure is building up on, on the c6 knight um, and now came b5 and it, it is of course tempting to chase the knight but uh, Garikov uh, probably didn't see a knight d6 from Kasparov and this is possible because of the now unprotected knight on c6 it's attacked by both the bishop and the, the rook. And now it's it, it's becoming more clear that the plan bishop f5, rook c8, as I spoke of just before, would have been better for black. Queen takes d6 and rook takes c6. And already now black has a difficult position. Um, white is, is threatening to enter the white position. Queen d8 followed. And here comes queen c2, stepping up the pressure in the c file and also eyeing uh, the diagonal c2, h7, which could be important uh, uh, for some attacking possibilities. Rook e8 followed, rook c1, and it's it's already very difficult to see what black should do here, but um, an idea could be to exchange bishops with bishop b7, I think, could be a, a possibility. Rook goes to c7, bishop takes g2, king takes, and bishop b6, after which black also has control of the entry square on, uh, on on c7. So this would be this would be uh, an okay plan for for black. But in the game he played a5, and now Kasparov played bishop d5, and now the threat is, is rook c7 with a double attack on the bishop on a7 and on f7. So bishop b6. Um, and then came queen b3 again putting pressure on f7 and uh, Garikov uh, plays rook e7 to defend this f7 and now comes uh, a very nice move from uh, from Kasparov he plays bishop f3 he does that because he he wants to transfer the uh, the bishop to to h5 to still apply some pressure on f7 but at the same time he gives space for the knight to go to d5 in some variations so that's why he transfers the, the bishop to f7, uh, to h5, sorry. Rook e5 followed, and if the point of this move is to defend the b5 pawn, then uh, Garivkov has, has missed uh, Kasparov's intentions completely, because after bishop h5, um, the retreat, rook e7 to defend uh, f7 uh, square, fails miserably to knight d5 because now white has uh, Kasparov has the threat of taking on b6 and after rook takes then rook takes c8 
um, and of course also the threat is to take the rook on uh, e7 and it seems that uh, rook e to b7 could cover both of the, these uh, threats but then still co comes knight takes b6 and after rook takes then f7 is now without sufficient protection so queen takes f7 here and rook takes and rook takes and rook c7 and white is completely winning so it wouldn't work uh, to play rook e7 and actually Garikov played the only move that uh, the best move in this position which is g6 but also um, against g6 Kasparov has uh, an answer and he plays the very beautiful bishop takes g6 and after h takes then rook takes g6 and of course Kasparov is here taking advantage of the pinned pawn on, uh, on f7 king f8 follows and then came rook h6 of course threatening rook h8 uh, with check and winning the queen so Gabri Gabrikov uh, immediately moves his king to e7 and then rook c to c6 and Kasparov has made an invasion into the black position that leaves no proper defense for Gabrikov it's a uh, rook f uh, f5 was what uh, Gabrikov tried here to prevent uh, Kasparov pr from playing uh, rook f6 but then comes uh, queen f3 with the simple threat of a queen e4 check bishop c7 queen e4 check and rook e5 and in this position I think you could do a you, you could uh, have a little tactical uh, exercise for yourself there are two very good uh, continuations here um, one that wins material and one that leads to a checkmate uh, in a very few moves and you can pause the video and have a, a look and uh, then I will come back and show you a, a couple of good uh, continuations for white here the first continuation that would be uh, uh, very good was uh, is to take on the c7 with check because queen takes c7 would lose the queen to knight d5 check and that would be a very uh, a good continuation for, for white and of course completely winning uh, the game um, but there is a stronger continuation because there is actually a mate in seven from this position and you can once again try to, to look at the position pause the video and see if you can find a, a knight uh, sorry a mate in seven it's not that easy but over the board Kasparov found the right continuation which is knight g's g6 with check and the best defense for black would be king d7 and then knight takes e5 check bishop takes queen takes queen f8 rook h to d6 check queen takes rook takes king c7 queen e7 bishop d7 and queen takes d7 checkmate a mate in seven in the game after knight g6 check then Gabrikov took uh, the knight and then came rook h7 check instead king f8 queen takes g6 and Gabrikov resigned because he is mated in uh, very few moves and um, this was a, of course a very nice uh, end to a good attacking game from Kasparov and uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, young Kasparov performance from the Soviet Championship Final 1981. And I hope to see you on my blog at uh, klaushensen.com. Bye bye for now.